Right now, I'd like to bring in California Democrat Congressman Adam Schiff. Uh, Congressman, thanks for being with me this afternoon. You bet. You have supported a renewal of the assault weapons ban. The ban, of course, expired back in 2004, I believe. Why do you think it's been so hard to see any movement on the issue? Well, it's been very hard because the NRA is so powerful. And for a lot of members that come from very strong uh, gun rights districts or states, uh, it is enormously difficult to take on the NRA. They put a lot of money in against you. Uh, and so it's, it's a challenge, but it's going to have to be done. We just can't keep going through tragedy after tragedy like this. It's got to stop. And it's going to require a lot of things. It's going to require a sensible gun safety and gun control measures. It's going to require uh, much more elaborate uh, mental health uh, planning and, and systems. Uh, it's going to require a better school safety. Uh, and even beyond gun control, it's going to require, I think, a, a real serious conversation about whether we need to have so many guns. Uh, the assault weapons ban and the closing of the gun show loopholes sure. and other uh, 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 prohibitions on extended ammunition clips, those will help. But uh, still, uh, if the facts appear as they are, that um, these weapons were mostly handguns legally owned by the mother in this case, uh, it ought to prompt a conversation about uh, whether these guns in our homes really make us more safe. Uh, and even if they provide some additional protection for uh, the individual gun owner, gun owners need to realize that they can be used not only to kill them, but to kill their family members and, and to kill 20 kids down the street. And there are roughly some 300 million guns in this country, according to most estimates that I've seen in, in, in red. We talked about it after the Congresswoman was shot. We talked about it after Aurora. We've talked about we talked about it after the, the Sikh Temple shooting in Wisconsin as well earlier this year. We're talking about it now. Do you think in your heart of hearts that this is actually going to be the tipping point? Well, I think it will be a tipping point uh, for the Congress and for the country to enact, uh, I hope, some responsible gun control measures. Uh, whether it will be the broader tipping point that we probably need to really question whether we need so many guns uh, in our homes and around the country, uh, whether we need these thousands and thousands of gun-related deaths every year, uh, that's a bigger question. I, I certainly hope so. Uh, this is a, a, an epidemic of violence, not just the mass killings like the FIC one yesterday, but, uh, but so much gun violence in yeah. our neighborhoods, so many of our youth being cut down. Uh, we really need to, to grasp this problem with both hands and do something about it. I, I had the reaction yesterday. I know millions of uh, parents did around the country. When I went to pick up my son at the bus stop, I, I grabbed him and hugged him. I didn't tell him why, but I know millions of parents did that. And uh, we all want our kids to grow up in, in safety and, and outlive us. And for 20, uh, 20 kids, their parents aren't going to aren't going to know what, what their children might have become and, and, and have that wonderful life. Congressman Adam Schiff from California. Congressman, thank you so much. Thank you.